I'm Sabrina Romanov, and in this video, I'm going to test ChatGPT 4.0, that's multimodal, uh, and use it to parse neural network architecture diagrams uh, such as this. This is a long short term memory cell architecture. And the reason for this use case is I'm actually building a little learning app to test your understanding of neural networks. It's called Graph Game. And basically for each neural network, it's kind of a gamified interface where you connect the different nodes and edges to test your understanding of how this particular neural network works. Um, so to add new levels or new neural networks to the game, uh, basically I have to, I have to write code kind of like this. So this is the LSTM cell, for example. I need to provide the list of nodes, the type of node, the subtype, as well as the label, and then the edges. So how nodes connect from, from, from one node to another node. That's, that's all this is here. I didn't want to do this manually, so I thought this would be a great use case for multimodal GPT 4.0 to help me out. And what I'm going to do is basically have it take a neural network architecture diagram and parse out the nodes and edges, and then format that data in a way that I can just copy paste right here into my code base. Okay, so to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is give ChatGPT uh, the image of the LSTM cell architecture and just see how well it does, like how well can it parse nodes and edges from the architecture diagram. So here I'm going to upload the LSTM cell image. Um, I'll tell something. Uh, I'll tell ChatGPT to is a diagram of a uh, LSTM cell architecture. Diagram consists of nodes and edges. I'm capitalizing nodes and edges because later I want to give ChatGPT an example of how to format that list. Um, and then, so now I'm going to ask it to analyze the diagram and make sure you understand how the list of nodes and edges respond to the diagram. And the last thing is I'll just add a simple chain of thought prop engineering technique of just telling ChatGPT to take a deep breath and take it step by step. Okay. And then I'm actually going to give ChatGPT the list of nodes and edges. And I want to do this just to give ChatGPT a successful example, right? So that I'm giving it, here's the diagram, here's the correct answer for the list of nodes and edges. Make sure you understand how to interpret that diagram to get to the correct answer. Um, and I'm hoping that this example will help ChatGPT be more accurate when I give it new diagrams that it hasn't seen and doesn't have the correct answer in the beginning. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste the list of no. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Okay, here, LSTM cell. And also copy and paste the list of edges. All right, here we go. All right, so let's see how ChatGPT did. Okay, it's analyzing the diagram. Uh, here's the list of nodes. It recognized that each node should have a type, subtype, and label, or that's the format that I wanted in. Uh, it recognized the list of edges, and it knows an edge describes the connection between nodes, which I actually didn't specify in the original prompt, but it has that kind of general knowledge of nodes, nodes and edges in a graph. And then it tries to map the nodes and edges to the diagram. So here, the forget gate, the input, output, what it connects to, okay the operations, the data nodes. This is looking pretty good. Oh, and it has an overall flow section. Full state update. Okay. All right, I mean, that looks really promising. So the next thing I want to do is give ChatGPT 4.0 a new diagram. It hasn't seen that I don't have the correct answer already to, uh, and let's, let's just see how it does and see if I can use its output. Uh, so let's try, yeah, let's try something simple like a ResNet block, a residual neural network. And then I'm going to tell ChatGPT, um, now you'll be given a new diagram showing a ResNet block. Hopefully it knows what that is. Create the list of nodes and edges corresponding to this new diagram. And yeah, let's see. 
what the output is. And I didn't ask it to format the output at this step just because I, I want to take it kind of step by step. Um, if it gets stuff wrong here, then it, then I'd rather fix it here before finalizing the output format. Okay, let's get the overall flow again. It looked good for my initial skim of it, but let me go back and check. So just a reminder, this is the ResNet block. So input X, and then a convolutional net layer, patch norm, and so on. Okay. Yeah, so you've got the list of nodes, okay. X, yeah, the batch norm, okay, yeah, to the, okay. Edges, mapping the nodes and edges to the guy. So similar format to its previous answer, answer. and so far everything looks good so far. Um, oh, that's, that's nice, it actually like describes what each layer does, that's cool, okay. All right, and yeah, now the last step is I just wanted to format uh, this information in, so that I can just copy paste it into the code base. I'm going to say format the list of nodes and edges um, like this example. And then I'm just going to give it, um, I think I'll just copy paste it. Yeah, I'll just copy paste it from my first prompt. Okay, and let's go. Okay, that looks good so far. So just like the previous example, every single node has a type, a subtype, and a label. Okay, and then this is the list of edges. Okay, let's copy this. I already created kind of a placeholder here for our new uh, neural network test. So ID will be ResNet, name will be ResNet block, and the description will be residual. So here's the list of nodes. Here's the list of edges and data. In terms of formatting, everything looks good. I don't see anything that jumps out that would cause an error. So let's just see. Let's just see the. Uh, let's go back to the app and see. If it's, okay, there. Yeah. So we just added it over here. And then I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna click in and then let's actually just try to assemble the diagram and see if, if everything's correct. Okay, next goes to that convolution layer and then where is it? Okay. And then oh, okay. And then this goes back to the three by three. Three, that's the input. Goes back to batch norm. And I should go to plus. And then this last activation. I think I'm missing one more plus. Yeah, the X input also needs to go here. Okay, sweet. Level solved. Uh, I mean, this is a little confusing how it's laid out, so I'm just going to kind of like drag stuff around to make it look more like the diagram we started with. Okay. And again, I built this app just to kind of like test and practice memorizing different neural network architectures. Okay, here. Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty close to our diagram. So not this one, but let me just open it up side by side so we can compare. Yeah. Okay. So basically ChatGPT did like all the work for me. Uh, I basically gave it this neural network architecture diagram, asked it to parse the nodes and edges, and then it looked good. So I asked it to format it in a, in a particular format that I need for the code base. And then I just literally copy pasted that output from ChatGPT into my code base and then loaded it up. And really to check that like the nodes and edges are, are correct and nothing's missing or, or incorrectly connected, it, the easiest thing for me is just to like actually assemble it and make sure it, everything matches like it should in the diagram. And so here you can see 
everything matches as expected. So ChatGPT literally saved me like a ton of manual work. So instead of having to type out all of this stuff, describing the graph, the nodes and edges, uh, it, it just produced that output for me. So that's pretty awesome so far. Um, that's a sim simple diagram though. So now I wanna test it with something more complicated. Okay, for this next test, I wanna test uh, a deep RNN. And so I'm gonna copy and paste literally the prompt that we already used that was successful. Don't, I don't really want to change it up because it already worked. And so I'm just going to feed in this neural network architecture diagram of a deep RNN. Oh, shoot. Hang on. I need to specify that it's not a ResNet block. Hang on. Let me just create a new prompt. That might be confusing. So. Let me just reload that. All right, cool. Okay. This diagram is pretty structured as well, but it's certainly a bit more complicated than the previous diagram. So it'll be interesting to see if ChatGPT is able to get it. It looks promising so far. So just starting with a list of nodes, this is the bottom row, X1, X2, X3, XT. Um, this is the next layer up, H1, H2, H... Oh, that's really interesting. It's actually able to get the sub and superscript, which is, which is really nice for the label since the label is just in LaTeX. So that should appear nice and pretty in, in our actual um, app. Okay, and here are the edges. X1, okay. H1, I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now. What I'm most concerned of is if there's like just these little tiny mistakes that, are, that, that I miss from eyeballing, but it'll show up when we actually try to put it in the app. Okay. Um, all right, and it's already in the formatting we want. So ChatGPT kind of learned from the context of this conversation. Remember in the previous iteration, I gave it a diagram, asked it to create a list of nodes and edges, but I needed to format that list of nodes and edges into what I need for the app. And ChatGPT here kind of learned from the context in this session and already gave me the output in the format that I need. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is just copy over this list of nodes and edges into the code base. Uh, first, I'm just going to copy this so we have another placeholder. And let's call it deep RNN, deep RNN. Ah, it's just a description, deep RNN. OK, nodes, a lot more nodes than before. And edges. Okay, let's see if it even loads. Back to there. All right, here we have deep RNN. All right. I mean, this looks pretty good, actually. I think just the way it's like laid out is already uh, pretty helpful for what we need. So I don't have. All right, I'm just moving my screen recording camera because it's blocking some nodes. Um, it would be nice if this was like upside down because like, so, so that it wouldn't, well, that's the only complaint I have at the moment. Because now it kind of looks a little confusing directionally, but I mean, you get the idea, right? Yeah, all right, cool. Um, so let me do that for each one. Oops. I don't think it's letting me click on the, yeah, I need to move that, my bad. <laughs> Clearly there are some CSS improvements that uh, are on my to-do list. Okay, sweet. And by the way, I, I haven't actually gotten a connection wrong, but this is what it looks like when you get a connection wrong. So, okay, I can't even do that. Let's see this. So when I try to connect uh, two nodes that shouldn't be connected by an edge, it, it looks like this red. And then there's actually a counter up here of how many extra edges you have. So this is an edge that should not be there. So if I just click on it, then it'll disappear and then I can put in the correct edge. So this green kind of flowing animation, that's because that edge is correct. If you put an edge that is not correct, then it's going to be red like that. Okay. Cool. 
Oops. Yeah. Okay, last one, and then we'll go horizontal. I really just wanted to say like level solved and then make sure it's correct uh, according to the diagram. All right, cool, all that, and then H1, this. Okay. Boom. Boom. Then this layer as well. We're just going horizontal now. Just bear with me. So far, I don't see any errors. Like this looks like how it should. It's just, it's just kind of upside down, like I mentioned in the beginning. All right, cool. Level solved. So now let's actually compare it to how the diagram should look to make sure we got it right. So let me open the deep RNN. Okay, so the easiest way to kind of reason about it, just starting from the inputs at the bottom, x1, x2, eh, hold on, I'm trying to just resize this so you can see it clearly. Uh, and again, the only confusing part is in this auto-generated diagram, there, the nodes are at the top, whereas in the original picture, the nodes were at the bottom. But that's not ChatGPT's fault. That's just kind of how it was rendered by the app. And so let's just look at it from upside down. Or, I mean, I mean, honestly, I could just even flip this. <laughs> so, so, something like that. Uh, all right, so we got the X, the first hidden layer, the second hidden layer, and then however many hidden layers, and then you have the outputs over here. Okay, I mean, that looks good. And so, again, what was really cool is I used multimodal ChatGPT 4.0 to take this uh, neural network architecture diagram, parse the nodes and edges, and then format it in exactly the format I need for my code base. So like, imagine if I, I didn't have a multimodal chat GPT 4.0, I'd be like sitting here trying to trying to type this out kind of tediously, right? And so I, this, I thought this was pretty cool. And honestly, probably my most successful test of a multimodal GPT 4.0. Like we didn't really run into any snags. And even if it did get some things wrong, like let's say, and messed up like one or two of the edges. Like that's not that's not so hard to fix, right? It's much better than having to, to do all of this from scratch, translating from the architecture diagram to uh, the particular format I need for my app. And so I was really impressed. I also was really impressed that got like the uh, the LaTeX for the for the for the superscript as well. Like I I didn't expect that at all. And so. Uh, you can see it here too. I, I forgot to mention that detail, like the sub and the superscript. So I thought that was really cool. So good job, ChatGPT 4.0. Uh, I'm actually just going to keep doing this and keep adding uh, different uh, neural networks to the game and then launch this. Uh, if you like this video, please hit like, comment, subscribe. I'm new to YouTube. So if you have ideas for other things you want me to test related to Gen AI, just drop me a comment. All right. 